coral reef right now in Mauritius? In Mauritius? Uh, it's not great. There's a lot of problems here. Um, we have overfishing problems, unsustainable use of the fisheries. I can see that as evident in the, in the numbers of fish that I see when I go diving. Having been in areas where, where there's very low fishing impacts, you can see the impacts here. Uh, there's a lack of some of the key species like groupers and sweet lips that are normally very abundant elsewhere. They're not abundant here. Um, the fish are very small. We have our, you have your marine protected areas here, but they tend to be small and not that well enforced. And so you have issues with uh, uh, small and poorly enforced marine protected areas. So you combine that with fishing impacts that are uh, in excess of what the production of the system can produce, then you end up with a fishery in, in poor condition. So most of what I see is uh, in poor condition in terms of the fishery. Corries have changed uh, in, due to two major changes. That's the climate impacts, a warm water typically, water that's warmer than, than normal. Secondly, the major change is uh, fishing that's unsustainable, reducing species to such low levels that they no longer can reproduce. The third issue is pollution, building in the watersheds near uh, rivers and then or sugarcane around rivers without buffer zones, then you get poor water quality in some, some areas, mostly <coughs> in areas where the uh, rivers beat the sea. Uh, so in those small delta areas, the water quality is not very good. But climate and fishing are the two big impacts that I see on a broad scale, and they seem to be pervasive around the island. I don't see a lot of places that have not experienced some sorts of impact. All the countries, uh, particularly in Africa, are experiencing the same problems, that is, uh, unsustainable fisheries and climate impacts. Mauritius, uh, I would say the fisheries is probably in pretty poor condition on the reef, mostly because you have a lot of people on a small island and the reefs are very close to shore. So it's very easy to overfish them without any sort of strong regulations and compliance and uh, agreements uh, uh, with regulations. You're gonna find people will quickly overfish the fishery. So that's the problem with Mauritius, it uh, has most of its uh, fishing areas are very accessible and that makes it very easy to overfish. Many other countries I work in, the close to human populations is the same thing, but they often have some reefs further away. And if you go to those reefs, um, the, the fish are in better condition. So the problem with Mauritius is all the reefs are actually very close to shore. Coral reefs need light and they need uh, shallow water. Um, and therefore they're not going to be located in very deep water. Once you get beyond about 20 or 30 meters of water depth, that's the end of their distributions. And so they're forced to live in shallow water. So people have to learn to live with them, essentially. Some species of coral can adapt to cli changing climate. But we, not everything. Not everything. And some of the dominant ones, the things that we saw that were very common, are no longer common. They did not adapt. They are, and, and if they are, it's... We don't see it yet. It may take generations and maybe they never will. Temperature and other climate effects, these include ocean acidification, they include um, changes in the, um, in the intensity of uh, rare disturbances. These disturbances are increasing more and more. It's not just warm water, it's also the frequency of which these uh, oceanographic pulses, that is oceanographic changes occur. So El Ninos are what people popularly know them as. Uh, these are becoming more intense. And as a result, the intensity of those disturbances are really quite bad for most corals.